Okay, so this is from section 2.6, number 21, uh, dy dx plus y over x is equal to x squared y squared. Um, this is a Bernoulli equation. Um, you can tell because you've got this y squared on the side. So the formula for Bernoulli equation So you can see that it um, it has the formula, it has the format of a Bernoulli equation. You got p of x is 1 over x times y, uh, your q of x is x squared, and then your n is 2, right? Okay, so in this example, n is equal to 2, so you want to do a substitution, right? So v is equal to y. So the 1 minus n, which is 1 minus 2, v equals y to the negative 1, or 1 over y. Okay, and then you want to take the derivative dv dx is equal to negative y to the negative uh, 2 times dy dx. And uh, we're going to use this to, um, to substitute. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take the original equation that you were given um, and you want to divide everything by y squared because you want to get rid of this y squared on this side, right? Okay. So now you can substitute. So y to the negative 2 times dy dx, that's going to be equal to negative dv dx, right? And then y to the negative 1, that was equal to v, right? Okay. Um, now you want to multiply everything by negative 1 because you want to get rid of that negative sign in front of the dv dx, right? Okay. So now you have a linear equation, right? And remember that the formula for linear equation is dy dx plus p of x times y is equal to q of x, right? Right, and um, you can see you have the format of a linear equation. The p of x is negative 1 over x, q of x is negative x squared. Okay, in this case, the independent variable is v because you substituted it. Okay. So now we just solve it just like a linear equation. And remember, for a linear equation, you wanted to find um, the uh, integrating factor, which is going to be equal to e to the power of this integral of p of x, right? OK. So uh, the p of x is equal to negative 1 over x. So the integral p of x dx is going to be okay, um, that's just going to be ln 1 over x, right? Okay, and then integrating factor is going to be e to the power of this, ln over 1 over x. So your integrating factor is going to be 1 over x. You're going to take that and you're going to multiply this whole linear equation by 1 over x. Okay?
pen. Um, and then you take this and you realize that that is a, um, the derivative of 1 over x times b, right? Because if you do the product rule, you can see, um, okay, 1 over x times the dv dx, and then the, um, the uh, derivative of 1 over x would be negative 1 over x to the negative 2, or, or negative 1 times x to the negative 2, right? Okay. Now you want to integral everything. everything by x to get v by itself. Okay, and you're almost done. Uh, one more step, you want to do, um, you want to put v in terms of, of y, right? So v was equal to 1 over y. like that and you'd probably get credit you'd probably get full credit I hope or you can do this and that would be um, that might be even a better answer so you want your answer to be in terms of the original variable y.